Hello and welcome. I'm Annette Reeder from TheBiblicalNutritionist.com and today I'm answering a question that I know applies to many people out there. And the question is, Annette, how do I quit binging? And the question has come in many times from different people. So I just wanted to address it today because this actually affects more people than are willing to admit. And we, we see it all over. We see it in just habits. And it's like, well, when I do an activity, I eat, I eat too much. Do you ever go to the movie theater and you get that great big bucket of popcorn and you eat the entire bucket before the movie even starts? That's binge eating. Because no one with a healthy uh, uh, digestive system or in a healthy stomach would be able to eat that much popcorn. <music> but yet we can, it's called binging. If you go to a birthday party and you eat more than one piece of cake, well, that can be considered binging. Typically, binging is when we eat without hunger and we eat to satisfy something beyond our stomach. This is binging, and you eat more than your body desires and more than it needs. Now, I, sh I have to erase that word desires because typically binging is driven by a desire. So we have to identify the desire. Well, that's what we're going to cover today. I'm Annette Reeder, and I'm so excited to share with you God's recipe for excellent health. And that includes helping you take back your health from the enemy and help you just finish this race well, as we are taught in Scripture. So we are going to take back our health, and we are going to finish well. And we do this by understanding God's Word and applying it to our health. So thank you. Now, let's get started. I have written a book, and this book may seem like it has nothing at all to do with binging, but it has everything to do with binge eating. And it's called The Hunger Satisfied Journal. Now, if you're saying, I don't want to buy another book, that's okay. You can get it free. Go to thebiblicalnutritionist.com, download Seven Steps to Amazing Biblical Health, and we give you a free version of this book. It has enough of the details in it to get you started. You may say, Annette, I don't like journaling my eating. This is a, a journal for what God is doing in your life, but it's a planning method to help you get away from the negotiating of food and the binging of food. And so it works in more ways than you can ever imagine. I have taken the best material that is out there and just can, made it more concise and help it to work for you in a much with less effort on your part and get quicker results. Okay, so let's get into binging. A binging is usually an answer to an inside answer to an outside problem. It is, we have adopted the beliefs of someone else and we have brought them onto ourselves. And sometimes we think, oh, well, no, it's just me who thinks this way. No, somewhere along the line, you were either told something or you decided to take on someone else's beliefs about you or about a situation and you've decided, wow, I guess that's true. Probably it wasn't. And now in order to satisfy that need for being loved or need for being accepted or need for being whatever you fill in the blank, food is now the resource. So in the 40 day transformation course, I actually start day one with what are your beliefs about yourself? And many people are <clears throat> just kind of torn apart by, ah, Annette, I just need to eat this, don't eat that list. No. Until we address your beliefs, and it's beliefs that lead to binging. It's the beliefs about who you are in Christ. It's the beliefs about who you are as a mom or a, or a dad or, you know, a son or a daughter. Who are you? And who do you think you should be? That's the next belief. Who do you really think you should be? Because if you're believing other people, you're not understanding what God has to say about who you are. So use the journal and the journal starts with what is your big picture? What are you trying to accomplish? And then we plan our meals ahead of time. 24 hours in advance, we plan out our meals. And then the day of, we stick to our plan. No matter what, we stick to our plan. No negotiating at the moment of decision of what to eat because you planned it the day before. Now this is what's going to happen. You might run into some turmoil. Well, I don't want to eat what I planned yesterday. Yesterday I thought I would eat healthy today and I don't want to eat healthy today. I'm just being honest here. 
when you feel the battle rising, that's when we go to our Rolodex of verses. Now, what I mean by that is, I, I will tell you over and over and over, I get it. There's a lot of phone apps that you can use for almost anything in life. Almost, almost, almost said, almost even to go to the bathroom, there's a phone app for that. Uh, but, okay, that was more than you needed to hear. Anyway, I'm saying, don't always rely on a phone app because sometimes we need to write it and we need to read it and we need to look at the pages. So I want you to write down on this in the journaling section why do you think you need to eat right now like step out of the kitchen step away from food don't pull into that drive-in the that <laughs> drive-in food don't go to the counter and order something when you have that urge mm -mm. take that urge go to your journal and write lord i'm i'm really being drawn to food right now i don't want to eat what i've recorded that i was supposed to eat so instead then we go to our rolodex of verses and i just keep these little um, index cards that are on a little clippy and they I just start flipping through them I'm like Lord what is your word for me right now to get me through this moment of binging that I am not going to give in to and you just keep flipping through those cards and you're going to land on a card that is going to speak to you and you're going to say Lord I'm just going to take these words and I'm going to walk outside I'm going to no matter what the temperature is I don't care if it's 50 below walk outside get some fresh air a fresh breath and I don't care if it's a hundred, walk outside for five minutes and let his words just permeate you. This battle is not a food battle. Food is just the armor that you've chosen to use to fight your battle. It's not, the bat it's not your armor. The armor is the word of God. And the only way we win the battle with binging is recognize our beliefs are not in agreement with God's word. We change the beliefs to be in an agreement. And then when that old belief comes up, we just open up the door, yell at it and say, you're not welcome here anymore. Now this is gonna take practice, practice, practice. It's gonna take prayer, prayer, prayer. The other order, you know what I mean. Prayer, practice, prayer, practice, prayer, practice. And that's how this you conquer this. Because the Lord is mighty to save. In other words, he wants to see you conquer this. And he's there to help you through it. I'm pausing for effect here. <laughs> I really want those words to sink in. Understand that he is there for you. And binging is not bringing our body into discipline. It's actually the exact opposite. And the scriptures are going to speak that to you. Now, I know you're thinking, well, what are the, car what are the verses on the Rolodex? Buy a blank set of Rolodex cards with a little clippy so that you can flip them and you start writing out the verses as you read scripture. I have a thick Rolodex and I have a thin Rolodex. One travels with me and one stays at my desk. I know where to go to get it. I know where to go and find those scriptures. And then I just start walk, flipping through them until the one that really resonates with me at that moment is the one I just stop and just plant myself in. And that's the verse I'll carry with me for the next couple hours to get through that moment of binge. I hope this helps you because this is not a drug problem where you need a drug to calm you down. This is not uh, a relationship problem. It might be, but just recognize that's secondary. Primary is your belief. What do you believe about that person? What do you believe about that circumstance? Because that's what's driving the binge. You are worthy. You are a royal priesthood if you are in Christ. Just as Queen Esther was a queen, you are a queen. Recognize who you are. Recognize that that battle is as easy as squishing a bug under your foot. Okay, I get it. It's not that easy, but it can be. So my motto that I just started today is to live life abundantly alive. I hope you get that. Live life abundantly alive. Stop dying in your life. Start living in your life. Live it out and live it to the fullest and start conquering it. So if you don't use, <laughs> if you don't use a hunger satisfied journal, just use your own journal. But this is going to walk you through specific steps. You, you plan it, you journal it, and you give yourself credit. Those three pieces of the puzzle help you master anything in life you want to master. 
Thanks for letting me share this with you. I am Annette Reeder from thebiblicalnutritionist.com. We have a Biblical Nutrition Academy where we have courses to help you through this. I would start with the 40-day transformation. After you get started in that and you work through it, join the inner circle and I will help walk you through this process and see you reach the victory you desire. Thanks for asking this question.